Yo, what's good everyone and welcome to a brand new game here on the channel. This game is called Sword Factory. Now, a lot of you might be familiar with it because it's kind of blowing up right now. There's roughly around 10,000 players and I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I've been playing for the last maybe two or three days now. I've gotten a lot of help by the staff members in this game as well as by even some of you subscribers and it's been really cool. I don't think that the game is really gonna be for everyone, but I definitely feel like it's cool enough for me to go ahead and show it, introduce it to you guys kind of explain it to you because it is a little confusing at first and i guess the first thing we can go ahead and start off with is the fact that the game doesn't really look that pleasing so what i mean by that is a lot of the models are kind of really outdated as well as even the ui to be completely honest and the owner is fully 100% aware of that. He's already said it multiple times over on the Discord that he is a scripter, not really a modeler. So who knows, maybe in the future, he'll go ahead and make some changes. But for right now, this is what it is. And honestly, it doesn't even matter because the core concept of the game is actually really fun. So basically when you start this off, you're gonna start off with all of these machines right here in front of you. Now, if you haven't caught on already, you're running a sword factor at the very start here you're going to basically press this button every time it turns green it'll go ahead and pull out a sword send it over to the modeler or then it spends a little bit of time inside of there you could start off with normal bronze silver gold and that's really as high as i've really seen it gone gold but there is a slim chance that you could go ahead and make a sapphire one or an emerald ruby amethyst and this is where it gets really cool right if you notice it says right under here produced globally so this keeps track of pretty much every single one of them that have been made in the game so bronze swords there has been 19 million of these produced throughout the entire game's life but there is some of these like the really really high ones that do exist but unfortunately they don't come out here on the globally produced board but we'll talk about that a little bit later on in the video because if i open up my leaderboards over here you'll notice that i have a couple of people inside of my server right now and they have some of the rarest weapons in the entire game i'm talking about there is only two in existence of one of the swords that i'm going to show you guys and this guy has one of them also shout out to william pierre he is actually one of the administrators of the game, but he is also number nine on the most cash earned leaderboards and number eight on the highest levels achieved. We're going to go and check out his base as well because he has some pretty crazy stuff over there. But for right now, let's get back to focusing on how to play this game. Oh, wait, he just gave me something. What did he give me? Yo, he just gave me a sword. Zichter just gave me a sword. Hold on, I'm going to drop it into my storage and see what this is. Oh, it's an amethyst unique incredible impossible sword got some really good enchants level 478 worth 236 billion jeez well all right then i really wasn't expecting that but we'll talk a little bit more about my storage in a second because there is a lot of swords that i have that are half decent over there which you guys have given to me and i'll be able to show you who exactly gave me those in a second but anyways this goes ahead and travels throughout the entire conveyor belt until it makes it to the very end here which then it is sent over to the cell station and here you'll be able to see basically how much it's worth and all of the different stats that you've gone ahead and made at the very top here it says selling in 17 seconds if for instance you see a sword inside of your cell station that you really want you can go ahead and walk up to it and it will pick it up and then you can move it over to your bank station where you can keep it instead of having to sell it now the next question is probably why would you want to keep the sword if the entire point of the game is to make swords and sell them well because that isn't the entire point of the game so if we go ahead and make our way over to one of these lists over here you'll notice that there is a list called server boss spawn now these bosses kind of spawn at random honestly i don't really understand how this whole board works right here there's some people that know how to read this and they know exactly when what's going to spawn i still haven't really understood how this all works but basically there's four islands in the game right now you have islands of noobs island of bosses shinies and the brand new one which just came out yesterday being island of neon the top and bottom one are both pve islands while the two middle ones are pvp meaning that players can go ahead and attack you but you have to be very careful because if they end up killing you you drop your sword and 99% of the time, they will take it unless it's a trash sword. Now, I'm going to go to the Island of Noobs just to kind of show you. But inside of here, there is a monster. Each and every one of them are labeled with different names. So you have Divine Boss, Legendary Boss. There is a Rare Plus over here. 
and that's kind of what determines what items they're going to drop this is really important because if an extremely rare boss spawns you can go ahead kill it and get it which normally would take you forever if you were using the ascender let's go ahead now and talk a little bit about the ascender inside of here right now i have a sword that i'm kind of just letting do its thing really it's leveling up its level but let me go ahead and stop that and kind of give you guys an understanding so i have a sword in my hand and this is basically the ascender upgrader that's going on right here so if i go ahead stand right here and drop my item it will put it into the ascender and i can choose different things to go ahead and upgrade on this specific sword for example if i wanted to go ahead and upgrade this ruby into what i believe the next one is amethyst which again it's very easy to keep track of all of this because you can go to these boards that are in your spawn so we look at the mold list we go down to ruby Ruby is a one in one million chance. And then Amethyst, which is the one right after that, is a one in 10 million chance. But if I was to go ahead and pull Amethyst, it increases the value of that sword by 145 times. And there only is 83,000 of these in existence in the entire game. So it's pretty cool. So again, we would come back to our Ascender click on upgrade mold and this is just going to go ahead and do that over and over and over again and it will either fail or pass if it passes then it's obviously going to be upgraded to amethyst but if it fails it'll just keep failing over and over and over again and you can afk farm this all night long and it's very likely that you'll wake up and it still won't be amethyst but you can do this with every single one of the stats on the weapon you can do this with the levels you can do this with the rarity of it as well as the class um the quality the enchants every single stat that you're looking at can be changed the only thing that cannot be changed is this name that's on the top because i was the one that found this weapon being carbon mice so now let's talk about what's inside of my storage if you notice a lot of my weapons inside of here are from different people we have it's alex phantom uh we got niloy over here a couple from myself shark near which a huge shout out to him he gave me a godly plus which was my very first godly it's extremely hard to get that we also have loopy niloy also ended up giving me another godly and now Zictor, which gave me this unique one, but it's Amethyst. And on top of that, it's an impossible sword. So it's pretty cool. Woo! All right, I'm out of breath, but that is pretty much the entire understanding of this game. Moving back to the actual conveyors over here, you can go ahead and upgrade these. So if you notice, I have 3.3 billion right now, and these are my levels over here on the left-hand side. If you wanna focus on purely making money, then my suggestion is to obviously go ahead and level up your molder polisher as well as the appraiser when it comes to doing damage then you upgrade your classifier upgrader and enchanter if you notice i have basically my molder my polisher as well as my appraiser i have these at probably six which prestiging is basically when you get to a certain point i think it's when you get to level 100 at first for that individual thing it'll then give you the option to prestige it resets you back to level one and then you do the same thing all the way until you get to level 200 prestige again and it keeps going up in increments of 50. there's really a lot to kind of take in right now but i promise once you get into the game it's really easy to understand coming to the back side of your conveyor you will find a bunch of different settings back here so this is where you'll be able to control the individual luck for each one of the conveyors you want to make sure that you come back here and you turn these on because if not you won't be getting the proper luck for whatever level it is that you are oh look at that we ended up getting it to amethyst let's go dude i did not think that, that was gonna work that's been running for like hours now i think i i think i started running that yesterday and i only just now got the amethyst oh look right there is william as you can see he does have admin next to his name and i guess this is a good time to go ahead and take you guys to look at these weapons so first base that we're going to look at is beastie boys base before i actually teleport there let me show you guys something really quick so if we take a look at the mold list over here you'll notice that the last one that anyone has been able to get is topaz so it says that five of these have been produced globally in the game. Only five people in the entire game have access to a topaz molded one. That's pretty insane and extremely rare. It's a one in 100 billion chance to be able to get it. Now, I believe this is pronounced Panite, but this one, nobody according to this owns it. But I have spoken to this person 
and apparently there was like a big bug that was going on with the produced globally and there's actually two of these that exist in the entire game azure quartz and amlite those don't exist as far as i'm aware those are actually zero but the panite one there is two of these that exist in the entire game even though it says zero this is a one in one trillion chance of getting this well we make it over to beastie boys base which yo the owner's in here samir he's inside of our lobby oh look yeah there he is it's, he said hi owner see so like i was saying if we go ahead and move all the way to the very end right there a night 3.4 trillion is the value of this yo what is he giving me a little gift oh let's go dude yo he gave me a crystal one let's go that's sick dude that's sick i appreciate it he said the quality and rarity are doable to upgrade still all right i'll definitely upgrade it so like i was saying right there he has again one of the two that only exist in the entire game right now it's insane i'd want to see it up close oh my god wait uh hold on let me get a picture of this oh my god i am actually holding it right now dude this is pretty crazy i'm not gonna lie i'm fanboying but dude this is insane look at my health 95.5 billion health this is insane all right so i went ahead and gave him back the sword he ended up giving me a level 400 chaotic sword so this is going to be for one of you guys i'll go ahead and give it to someone completely random as i join public servers and stuff like that but it's it's really cool man like there is just a lot going on i'm gonna go down the list here just so you can take a look at how crazy this guy's storage is and then we're gonna move over to williams because um williams is pretty insane so let's go and check out william pierre's base so yeah man here we are we are inside of his base right now and just look at this dude like two trillion three trillion one trillion two trillion i know some of you are watching this video and don't really understand what's going on but a sword being worth trillions is actually pretty insane most people have swords that are about 300 billion 600 billion maybe even 800 billion but once you start getting into the trillions it's insane man like these swords are actually mind-blowing to look at but the most important one here is this one right here the alpha sword this was only given to alpha testers and if you notice it has a serial number on the top right hand side only 40 of these existed in total and this that we're looking at is number 17 it's worth one trillion dollars if we go ahead and sell it and based off of the stats over here which is alpha c l i i it's got to be insanely powerful as well this one also has its own like kind of rarity or title i guess what is that called i think it's called a class so its class is collectible it's incredible because there is some people that do have this but 99% of the time, they don't really have it as their own name. Williams is still under his name, which is super awesome, man. I think it's really cool. Again, I've probably invested so much time into this game where I do find these things interesting. The owner has been super chill and really all of the staff members have been super chill as well as all of the top players and everyone is willing to help. They're super welcoming too. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of go ahead and do a proper introduction as well as show you guys that extremely rare sword because again i know people that do actively play this game are going to find it extremely interesting to even see that that exists and that it is possible to get because technically speaking you know over here nobody has it which i don't know if the owner is going to end up updating that maybe i'll mention to him to see if he can go ahead and add that two do exist here so that that way there's no confusion if you end up deciding to jump into this game of course i will have a link to the game at the very top of the comments just make sure that you read all these boards that are back here they're going to be your best friend and they're really going to explain everything to give you a better understanding quality is going to focus on the value of your sword rarity will focus on the power so the damage that the sword puts out as well as the value class is a power multiplier so again this is more for damage your mold is going to focus on the value and then you have enchants which that does affect value 
damage and health multiplier so yeah man more of an informative video today but i did want to go ahead and explain this to you guys because i really think it's a fun game you should definitely go and check it out give it a chance we'll have another video out very soon of me hopefully fighting a very rare boss i'll probably go ahead and fight a bunch of bosses and then kind of just turn it into uh some type of like a compilation or something i don't know we'll figure it out owner is updating the game all the time so i'm sure there'll be an update very very soon again that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video like always i will see you guys in the next one take care